had about a 10-year period in the wilderness where you weren't acting, you, you, you know, you were... You were just sort of floundering around in your life well, and your you career. Know, you, and you and I did this interview. We're not going to... Well, I was well, going to say, you, we, we did, did this interview. interview. We're not going to... We're not going to mention who it was about. No. That's we're not going to mention any of that. But, but I'm going to... I'll simply ask you this. It was no. just before The Wrestler came out. And I did this interview with you. It was one of the most extraordinarily open, honest, candid, emotional interviews I've ever done with anybody. Mm. And then The Wrestler happened. Then you got all these awards, and then you were back. And I suppose my question for you is, um, what, was that, what was that like for you, to go from the wilderness years to then be back on top? How did that feel for you at the time? I mean, I read the script, and I wasn't crazy about the script. Uh, and I went into my once or twice weekly meeting with my psychiatrist, and he said to me, if Darren Aronofsky offers you a movie, do it. Mm. And I'm, th I'm going, well, you know, because my psychiatrist works with a lot of heavy hitters in town here, and he knows, you know, he knows more than I know about what's going on. And so I, I met with Darren, and uh, I watched a couple of his movies, and I liked his movies, and I liked the fact that when he... I, uh, we were meeting at a restaurant we never met before, and I kept looking out for, like, how in my mind he, I pictured he looked like. So I'm sitting there, and I'm having a coffee, and I see this guy get off a bicycle with a green helmet on, and he's walking towards me like he's got, like, the biggest balls on the planet, and I'm going, <laughs> yeah, it's got to be him. <laughs> And Mickey, we're then, certainly uh, running out of time here. I need. To, I just want to ask you, what, once you well, made The Wrestler, what yeah. was it like to be back at the top? Yeah. I never, I never ever really felt like being back at the top. I never really felt like I accomplished that. It's like my psychiatrist said to me, you were, you were all the way up the mountain and then you dove off head first. Mm. You know, so when you're out of work for a decade, you don't, and, and then things start to happen again. You, you don't feel like, I never really felt like uh, I accomplished anything much. Mickey, you've got a new film, Night Walk, playing a difficult character, a member of a neo-Nazi prison gang. What's that like? What movie? Night walk. Not, oh, night walk. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was that was uh, real interesting to work with because it was was with a a, a young first time director that yeah. you know wasn't terrified to work with me or didn't have any. He was just very excited to work with me, and so uh, the enthusiasm of working with you know a guy like 28, 29, 30, whatever he was. Um, it, was a, it was a really good experience and I went out and I, I talked to some people about uh, the white supremacist guys and uh, I got an earful. Well, it's a powerful, and, uh, it's a powerful film, Mickey. Uh, we've got to leave it there, unfortunately. It's great to see you in such great shape with one of your beloved dogs uh, and it's always a joy to interview you. Please come back again punky. soon. All right, cheers.